Ash, welcome back to a brand new video on my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be my 2020 goals because I did this video last year for 2019 and actually my roommate Emma was the one that reminded me that I have to do this video because she was like, I'm watching your old video so I can make New Year's resolutions and I was like, whoa! I need to make New Year's resolutions. So yeah, this is just gonna be a super chill video. I'm literally sitting in my hotel room in California right now. If you're new here and you've never seen my face before, be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below. There'll be a button. Um, give this video a like and follow me on Instagram as well. When I look back at my 2019 goals video, it really hit different because I feel like I accomplished a lot of the things that I said I wanted to do, which is really good. I don't really know what I want to say for 2020. Like, yeah, I have goals, but I don't know. I didn't really plan this out, so I'm gonna just wing it. Okay, so my first goal of 2020 is to improve the quality of my YouTube videos. I, I've been trying to do that slowly um and it is getting kind of hard for me to like keep up with it just because like college is busy i'm really busy but so far i've been doing a pretty good job like keeping my schedule but one thing i really want to do is like make my videos more interesting more like complex editing wise and i'm like researching that and all that so um that's something that i really hope to improve on for this next year. I think I said this last year as well, but my second goal for 2020 is to continue to love myself, which is something that um, I've really improved on over the past year, which snaps to me, honestly, like I'm proud of myself for that. But you know, obviously like there's always room for improvement. One thing that I definitely need to learn is to just like balance like pleasing other people versus making myself happy because there are some times where I'm like I don't want to hurt this person's feelings but also like the situation's really not working out for me so I need to like not be in it which I am definitely going to fix you know once the year starts I definitely want to be able to just be like no I'm an adult I need to make my own decisions and I need to do what's best for myself if it's not like good for me mentally emotionally physically then it's really not worth it the third goal that i have for 2020 i honestly don't know how many goals i'm gonna list here so just bear with me but the third goal that i want to have is to make more connections um because like being in college this is like the prime opportunity to meet people and i've been meeting so many cool people which is great and i've been making so many connections already and like the first three months that I've been in college, but I definitely want to continue making more connections, especially with like my music career, because that's like, that's what the industry is all about. It's just like who you know. So I definitely want to know more people, just like make more lasting connections that'll help me out in the future. My fourth goal for 2020 kind of goes along with that and it's to make more music to get cracking on that and I have been doing that I've met someone through my school and we're working on like making new music for me and I am so 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 excited about that so I will definitely be keeping you guys updated because I am super happy that all of my ideas are finally like being brought to life which is so cool so yeah that's already in the works I'm already like making demos and writing more songs and like recording and all that so we vibe in and by the way if you haven't already listened to my music i have links to it in the description you can stream it on spotify download it on itunes all of that so yeah okay my fifth goal for the upcoming year which i i i feel like okay i feel like it's not gonna happen but I really want it to happen, that's why I'm like speaking it into existence. But I want to like be more healthy <laughs> because, okay, I went to the gym once in my college career during Welcome Week and I, I haven't been back since. And it's kind of sad, you know, because the freshman 15 is so real and it, it's not good right now. But I definitely want to start like eating healthier, going to the gym more, 
um which is like ev like everyone says that and no one ever does it future ash if you're watching this i hope you went to the gym uh what what number is this six number six my sixth goal for 2020 is to just like cherish more memories i guess if that makes sense i feel like everything like important in my life i vlog i take pictures of i capture in some way which is super cool um with that comes with like balancing out living in the moment because i don't want all of these memories to happen through a camera screen if that makes sense i'm here in san francisco right now and i've been working on a travel video i just finished up a vlog now i'm like trying to hold back from recording everything and taking pictures of everything because sometimes it's good to just live in the moment and like obviously i'm gonna make so many more memories in this next year i have a lot of cool things planned with my friends in college already so i just need to take a step back sometimes let the moment sink in you know that's something that i've learned is hard to balance sometimes but i'm working on it <laughs> my seventh goal for 2020 is to invest more time in things that I am passionate about and don't focus so much of my attention on things that aren't worth my time. And I don't wanna spill the tea on that right now, but some things have been taking up a lot of my attention that just really aren't worth it. And I want to devote more of my attention to things that I'm really passionate about, like my music, YouTube, um obviously my studies in college and like my activities in school like my sorority like i hope i can get like a leadership position at some point that would be super cool i just want to be more involved in the things that i'm passionate about i forgot what number this is i'm pretty sure this is number eight i'm gonna try to make it to 10 because that's a nice number but yeah i'm pretty sure this is number eight but my number eight goal for 2020 is to get better at communicating, I guess. Um, I feel like I'm already pretty good at communicating, but obviously like there's always room for improvement. Overall, I just wanna get better at communicating like how I feel or what I want in a particular moment because sometimes I can be too blunt <laughs> with what I say. Honestly, I'm just gonna blame that on the fact that I'm a New Yorker, but also other times I hold back too much because I don't want people to like worry about me. Communication. Communication is key. That's like a really important part of being a human being. And I, I wanna be better at that. So yeah. <laughs> My ninth goal for 2020. I just wanna point out every time I say 2020, I'm so tempted to say 2019, but no, it's 2020 now almost my ninth goal for 2020 is to go travel i've done a lot of traveling in my life and i'm super thankful for that like obviously i'm in san francisco right now but i also definitely want to go places that i've never been before you know because i've been to disney world like five or six times in my lifetime now and that's getting a little old that's a lie disney will never get old you know what i mean like i want to see more places experience new things so yeah I, I definitely would like to travel a little more in this next year. Okay, this is my 10th, I think 10th goal for 2020. And that is to be more conscious with my money. I really learned the value of like real money now that I've been in college and like I, I refuse to spend money on anything other than food that's outside of the dining plan when I'm in college because like I'm on a budget obviously and like sometimes i just gotta treat myself because the dining hall food at college is like not that great sometimes but i i definitely want to be more conscious of like what i'm spending where i'm spending it i want to stick to the dining plan more just because like i i spent so much of my money on food at college i think i spent like a solid $30 on insomnia cookies this past month and it's kind of bad. Yeah, I just want to be more conscious of like what I'm spending and my finances. So yeah, but that was pretty much it, I guess, for my new year's resolutions. I hope that I can look back on this 
next year and be like, yeah, I accomplished that shit. Because that's like, that's how I felt when I watched my 2019 goals video. I hope this gave you guys some inspiration for your, your New Year's resolutions. I know it gave my roommate Emma inspiration. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a really happy New Year's and yeah, more good stuff to come in the next year. Bye.